This is probably not something you want to see clinging to your airplane, but it's exactly what scientists aboard this research jet were expecting to find. We're interested in supercooled liquid water, which is water that remains liquid at temperatures below freezing, uh, because that's the water when it hits an aircraft surface, it's immediately going to freeze. That's what causes the problem. Scott Landolt with NCAR says these ice clumps add weight to an airplane, affecting its ability to power through storms. And it changes the aerodynamics of the way the air flows over the wings, which can cause a plane to lose lift. And these were normal conditions that they were flying through for not very long periods. So it, it's a condition where even a normal aircraft flying through there potentially would have encountered conditions like this and had, would have gotten in trouble. Winter storms are massive and can last for days, so flying around them or waiting them out is not an option. Landolt says the larger jets can usually blast up through the storm quick enough to avoid big icing problems, but it continues to be an issue for general aviation. Some of the smaller jets, uh, some of the turboprop airplanes, stuff like that, that have to fly at lower altitudes that are going to get into these conditions. Landolt says that incidents where aircraft run into in-flight icing trouble is not commonplace, but it does happen just often enough that the Federal Aviation Administration wanted to fully fund this research project. One of the main goals of this research is to improve improve our ability to forecast the timing and duration of these freezing water events. We can really come up with a better refined forecast, particularly in terminal areas where aircraft actually have to go through these conditions um, as they ascend and descend from airports. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.